this is Jazzy Owens, and I'd just like to welcome you to Fandom Welcome guys, it is the day right after we just saw Into the Dalek, and it's a totally new look at um, the Doctor and, you know, his. I think his moral compass was the big thing last night. I mean, uh, he okay. Basically, what he asked himself is he a good man? Yeah. I mean, in this episode, uh, he basically had Ross die just to save the group. Yeah. So you can which see. overall, like overall, that's yeah. like a good thing. Like he, his love for humanity, like I don't know. I feel like he would have tried to find a way. Yeah. The to doctor. Save the doctor's always been so in love with humans and humanity, and you know that's his race. Earth is his planet. You know, it's the where he protects the most. And the fact that he sacrificed one person for everyone else is something that it's it's definitely something much more of classic Doctor Who than the Doctor that we've seen yes. since Gallifrey has, you know, been gone and he's had to deal with the guilt of having killed his own planet. And yeah. I think that still his memories are kind of up in the air because, you know, he has encountered a good Dalek before and he's gone to the same extreme as he did the last time he encountered one with when he was when the doctor was nine and with Rose and, um, you know, when the Dalek had repaired itself with like human DNA and it became a good Dalek and he pointed a gun at Rose and it went to such an extreme and he was just as cutthroat and unbelieving of it. It seemed like that was a different experience because in that episode he was becoming a good Dalek because he had human parts put into yeah, him. Yeah, like this was, was like himself. a different, like this one exactly. malfunctions, like it had an issue with yeah, like itself. In this one you found out that Daleks can alone become morally competent. But only if they're broken. You yeah, know, like they have to be broken, and the radiation. Yeah, the and radiation even, has then, to be poisoned, even then, if you do rewire them, they're still in the mindset of, oh, I have to exterminate all of this. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not, they're not at all a peaceful race. It broke my heart, honestly. When Capaldi, um, when Capaldi, well, the twelve, uh, when twelve. Uh, was trying to fix him by letting him look into his heart. Yes, that was and so sad. He saw the hatred. And, he saw and, hatred. Like, and you oh can tell gosh. he just, like, he was so disappointed in himself. It shows a Dalek's nature because that's what it focused on, you know? Instead of the doctor seeing so many beautiful things, been through so many experiences. But I, I, it definitely does reflect on the doctor himself as well the fact that trying to pointedly show him to put those things yes. in the forefront of his mind. And that's not what he focused on. But he, he wanted the Dalek to become good. But his definition of good was not to destroy. He wanted him to see something more than just destruction. And it seemed as though uh, he reflected what he thought of himself in the Dalek. I, actually, it seems like he's looking back on a lot of previous yeah. experiences. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think he's trying to remember everything. I think that his, his memory is still very scrambled and he's trying to, the things are seeming kind of familiar to him, yes. but he still is not completely all there. Mm -hmm. Clara and Danny it's are the so cutest cute. thing I've ever seen in my they life. They are. <laughs> and honestly, I feel Danny, like on an yes. emotional, spiritual level, <laughs> yeah. every single time I feel like I, I can, learned. in that sense, I feel like I connect more with Clara than I do with Danny. Which I is love, like, like, he, like banged me. his head on the yes. table. Oh, yes! That's oh so my many God. real life yes. moments. It's great. No, <laughs> I've done real that before. Life moments. <laughs> me too. Next time I like where it's going, I really can't find any reason not to like Clara and Danny together. They're so, yes. I love their dynamic and I love like how Clara takes the lead on that. Mm -hmm. Heaven. Heaven. What the hell if it's is even going heaven. on? If the, yeah. What is what that? Is First that? off, can I just say that same area has been used on Doctor Who like three other times. Now, that same does, garden was yeah. in in the episode where um, Amy, there's like old Amy and young Amy, and they go into this garden area. They've used that. That's the same exact garden. They just redecorated it. It's the same exact place. I love BBC the woman and their also, like, ability like, to yeah. recycle. The woman also seemed kind of familiar to me, like like very. Yes. I've seen her before. She, I, I have seen, seen her yeah, before. I've seen her I before. just can't remember. Yeah, it I might also be that we've seen her like in the promo photo shoots and things like that. Mm -hmm. 
because game. that's because I think I think that's where I might have seen her. Not so much like in previous episodes or something. Well, were your favorite scene, guys? Oh, uh, my favorite scene was uh. Whoa. No, my favorite scene is when they're going in. When they're going in, and her face goes like, and it's like weird and like <laughs> You're in so the blue thing. And like in the in the eye. And Those like, are the most like useless. Those are such <laughs> random scenes. <laughs> I don't even know. Carmen, what's your favorite scene? Uh, my favorite scene was uh, when we first saw the Daleks. I just thought that intro into the Daleks. Yeah. You know, like um, when Journey was battling them. Yeah. And oh, like that was heartbreaking. That was heartbreaking. Really... Well, my favorite scene was when uh, the Doctor was like, "How much did I pay you?" And Clara was like. You, you're not my boss. You're yeah. one of my hobbies. I was like, mm, that was mm, mm, awesome. Put it where that it is. Preach. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I also really liked, uh, there seemed to be a parallel with, uh, they paralleled Nine. When he first, uh, when he like kind of ran into the Do a Dalek, uh, it, had set, it had told him, you would make a good Dalek. Yes. And then now we find out that the Daleks identify him as a good Dalek. Yeah. That, that was, was frightening and that was nice. so scary. Very I got nice. the shivers. That's it for today. Let us know what your favorite part of the episodes was. Question of the day. Question of the day. Do you think the Doctor is a good man? As the TV show season picks up, we will be covering Arrow, Vampire Diaries, Supernatural, and The Flash. There will also be a separate segment. I won't be doing episode per episode, but I will definitely be doing a comparison between Grace Point and Broadchurch. I have a lot of faith in David Tennant and Anna Gunn. Not so much in Fox. I'm hoping that my faith in these actors will be enough to have that survive. Also join us for Fandom After Dark with Carmen and I, where we are getting down and dirty with your favorite OPTPs. We'll be inside the Dalek. Mm-hmm, deep inside that Dalek. Um, so just OTPs, you know? Cause we're gonna go there. Thanks for joining us today. Peace out everybody. <laughs>